Addressing, discovering, security, trust, federation, policy, eventing, transfer. Thanks, man. Have you considered building your service the restful way? The restful way? Which is four operations, get, put, post, and delete. Go get NetBeans 6 and get some rest. This video will demonstrate how to build an end-to-end -end RESTful application from building the RESTful services from the database all the way to building the client application that consumes those services. So let's get started. First, we'll create a web project to host the RESTful web services. We'll name it CustomerDB. Next, we'll create the JPA Entity classes from a database. We're going to use the sample database. We're going to select customer and discount code table. And we're going to call the package customer DB and then create the persistent unit. Next, we'll create the RESTful Web Services from the Entity classes. We're going to select all of them. Now we're done generating all the services. We're going to deploy the service to the application server. Now we're done with building the customer DB project. The next, we're going to build the web application that will host the client application that will consume the customer web services that we just built. We're going to call it a customer app. We're going to include the JMaki Ajax framework. Next, we're going to generate the RESTful web service client stubs for the customer app. I'm going to click on Add Project. I'm going to select Customer DB, which is the project we just created. And this will be generating stuff from that. Now we've uh, finished generating the client stuff from the customer DB. There's a test page that you can run to test the code we just generated. So in the web browser, you see a table displaying the information retrieved from the database. You can go back and forth between the discount code table and the customer's table. Next in the files view under the customer app project folder, you'll see a zip file called customer DB. You can import that into the JMonkey palette. Next, we're going to go to tools. Add JMaki library, and you're going to select the zip file I just showed you. As you can see, there's a customer DB category under the palette, and there are two new widgets underneath it one's for customers, and one's for the sound code. Now switch to the project view and open the index.jsp. Here we'll show how you can use the widget we just created by simply drag and dropping them into the JSP. What I just did is dra drag and dropping the customer service widget. Now I'm going to run the JSP file. In the browser, you'll see the same table we saw displayed before displaying the information about the customer. This concludes this video. For more information, please visit the music application tutorial on the NetBeans 6.0 web services documentation page.